hello uh, let us now know how to classify the bones bones can be classified in three ways the first classification is according to number according to the number the bones can be classified number 2 according to ossification that means how the bone is ossified under this a bone can be classified as either membranous bone or cartilaginous bone or membrano cartilaginous bone so these three varieties are noted according to this classification number 3 which is important that is according to shape according to the shape there are numerous bones like long bones short bones flat bones miniature long bones modified long bones pneumatic bones sesamoid bones irregular bones accessory bones etc now i am going to say only about this classification which is according to the number so total number of bones you know it is 206 of which 80 forms the axial skeleton that means in the midline and 126 are present by the sides that is in the limbs which forms the appendicular skeleton so axial skeleton 80 appendicular skeleton the bones in the limbs are 126 so in the axial skeleton in the midline if you go with the number here 22 bones are in the skull in this skull there are 22 bones to name them six unpaired and eight paired six are unpaired bones eight are paired bones these six eight paired bones 8 to 16 plus 6 becomes 22 these six unpaired bones are frontal bone occipital bone then we have mandible this one mandible mandible then inside vomer bone and inside we have sphenoid bone and ethmoid bone so these six are unpaired bones of the skull i repeat frontal occipital vomer mandible sphenoid and ethmoid and the eight paired bones are parietal bones temporal bones zygomatic bones nasal bones uh lacrimal bones palatine bones inferior concave bones and maxilla all these are the paired bones of the skull overall making it to number 22 then we have 12 pairs of ribs these are the right sided 12 ribs this one is left sided so there are 24 ribs we have vertebra number wise it is 26 which includes total number of vertebra although is 33 but since the sacrum five sacral vertebra fused to form one single bone called sacrum and similarly four coccygeal vertebra fused to form one single coccyx it is grouped as one so likewise if you compare if you say the number of vertebras are 26 7 cervical 12 thoracic 5 lumbar so 7 plus 12 19 19 plus 5 24 1 sacrum 1 coccyx so it comes to 26 although the number of total number of vertebra are 33 so now it is coming to 72 till now so still 8 are remaining 6 ear ossicles three ear ossicles on either sides within the middle ear you see on each side malleus incus stapes 
So 3 plus 3 on either sides it becomes 6. So it has come to 78. You have one sternum 79 and this one which is the hyoid bone 80. So total number of bones, axial bones, bones forming the axial skeleton are 80 in number. Coming to the appendicular skeleton that is bones belonging to the upper limbs and lower limbs. If you see there are 64 bones in the upper limbs, 32 on each side. In that 32 the number R like I mean the bones are clavicle, scapula, humerus, then this one ulna, radius, so that comes to 5. There are 8 carpal bones, 5 plus 8, 13. There are 5 metacarpal bones, 13 plus 5, 18. And there are 14 phalanges. So, 18 plus 14 becomes to 32. The 8 carpal bones are in the proximal row from lateral to medial side, scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, pisiform and in the distal row from lateral to medial side, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. So, these are the 8 carpal bones arranged in two rows, four bones in each row, in the proximal row from lateral to medial side I repeat, scaphoid, lunate, triquetral, pisiform, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate and hamate. So likewise in the upper limb the bones are 32, on either sides it becomes to 64. Coming to the remaining lower limb bones, it is 62 in number. Each side it is 31 and the bones are hip bone, femur, patella, tibia, fibula. So this comes to num 5 in number. Here the tarsal bones are 7 in number. In upper limb the carpal bones are 8 in number. Here the tarsal bones are 7 in number which are talus, calcaneum, cuboid, navicular, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform and lateral cuneiform. Just like upper limb, here there are 5 metacarpals, here there are 5 metatarsals, here there are 14 phalanges, here also 14 phalanges. So overall it is coming to 31, 31 on either sides comes to 62, 62 plus 64 becomes to 126 and the 126 forms the appendicular skeleton. This is the classification of bones according to the number. Thank you.